Yeah, so I work at the University of Sheffield. I am part of a double act as well, and my uh, partner in crime can't be with us today, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about both of us now. So I just put that slide on because I wanted to say that um, I've actually, I don't know if you can tell from the but I'm from Rotherham, um, I've grown up around this area, I know the city really well, I work up the road, and I've never actually been down to Sheffield Hallam to engage in everything. So when Eve asked, I uh, just let me want the opportunity to get involved with what sounds like a really exciting course. So. Okay, so uh, in terms of my uh, background then and uh, my partner, Holly Blorner, um, I'm actually working in the Department of Social and Studies at Sheffield at the moment. I'm recently completed uh, my PhD. <coughs> um, but myself and Lorna, we work together. Um, I've got a specific role, which is basically about brand capture, so it's to do with developing different research projects, putting them in for applications, and helping them get in research money to do projects. So that's kind of like where we're coming tag team because in our day-to-day -day job we work together on those applications and we thought it would be quite nice to give you um, both of our research interests and then you can have a bit of a mixed choice about what you might like to do with us uh, based upon those. So I am um, a sociologist by background, that's why I've done my, my undergraduate degrees and stuff in. Um, Lorna was actually trained as an anthropologist and she's more recently, she's a lecturer in social policy but we pretty much come from the same standpoint, we're very sort of Sociological interested in um, culture, how, why societies do what they do, really sort of interested in people's feelings, experiences about their environments, their everyday life. So, you know, we're coming from that, that sort of perspective, really. Just to tell you a little bit about, about Lorna first, um, the majority of her work today has been to do with older people, uh, later life, and life course issues. So, that's kind of her main uh, research interest. But she has done stuff um, in relation to how gender intersects with age and also ethnicity as well. Um, she's done a lot of work around caring and caring experiences, um, but she's also got like personal experiences of that in her own life as well. She looks after um, her dad who doesn't live in Sheffield, so she's quite open about all that kind of thing. She's kind of quite uh, politically and personally invested in things to do with care um, and care issues. Um, she's also been uh, a Pioneer, she'll like it, that's a cultural pioneer. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of working in participatory ways in research with participants, so she's very much about um, how research users fit into the research process. So a lot of her projects have been collaborative. Uh, one in particular, she actually trained a group of old people in how to do research doing interviews and that sort of thing, and got them involved in collecting data about a project that was to do with old people. Lives. So she's again it's about um, working collaboratively in, in that sense. More recently, she's um, become interested in challenging stereotypes of old people, particularly older women. And her last project, um, this is the website here, um, the exhibition from the project was called Look at Me. Um, that was quite an innovative project, really. It involved using creative visual methods um, with about sample about 40-ish older women in Sheffield and she basically said to them we want to know about your ordinary experiences of being older and being a woman so we have all these media images of you know of older celebrities and various photoshopping that goes on and all the kind of anti-wrinkle industry against all that she wanted to work with older women collaboratively to say let's create some alternative images and representations of what it means to be a real older woman, if you like. So she's really passionate about this idea of challenging uh, perceptions and representations in relation to uh, aging people. So if you're interested, you can have a look at the, the website. Okay, so me. Um, I, I am interested in, in life course issues and later life, but more particularly, my research interest is in end of life stuff, so basically, uh, death and diet, which sounds dead gloomy. I know, but I promise it's not. Um, my PhD research looked at everyday family life, so kind of echoing some stuff that Jill said, but this idea that death is a, a crisis experience, it's very negative, it's taboo, we can't talk about it. There are lots of people that are dying and living every day with dying. So my thesis explored what it's like for families to be families, how they, you know, how they construct themselves, what their identities are families like, personal relationships, dynamics, those kind of non-medical focused kind of questions about 
what it's like to be a dying person. So my interests are, are very much kind of <coughs> sitting within sort of personal relationships, relationality, um, death and dying, health and illness, those sorts of areas. I do have a broader interest as well, sociology of the body, illness narratives, um, everyday life and material culture. So I'm giving you a right pick and mix of stuff here. I promise I'm going to focus it down in the next <laughs> in the next slide. Okay, so I just want to give you a little sense of what we do. So obviously we're um, our researchers. Um, I've said that we're sociological. We're interested in culture, experiences, feelings. We both tend to use uh, predominantly qualitative methods. I don't think we're familiar with method stuff, but that basically it means that we tend to interview people. We use creative <coughs> methods, visual methods, and it's very much about understanding where they're at, so not too much money and stats. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's just not my uh, <coughs> my bag for the majority of stuff that I've done so far. Um, what am I thinking about the I've got two two teams to work which is really nice. Um, because I'm both of us have these, you know, very broad interests, areas of interest, what I thought I'd do just pop put out um, a few ideas, but my intention is now I've met you guys and we can meet again and, and try and find out what your interest might be in relation um, to one of these three things and, and maybe focus it down a little bit more. So the things that I was thinking about was, you know, how how mind space, um, how does that interact with how people feel and experience things when say they're in hospice care or residential care. So looking at those particular spaces and particularly thinking about things to do with identity and family relationships and dynamics. Um, Similarly, if you're interested in more to do with how those kind of things might work out in a family home environment, um, that's another option. Or um, the more recent strand in, in Lauren's research around representations of old people, we're actually also working on the funding bid um, to look at visual death and dying, which I don't have time to go into, but we're both quite interested in things. 